I'm Spika Wavi and I'm a puppetry artist. Hello friends, my name is Karen Ortred and I'm a theatre maker. We're teaching artists at Flushing Town Hall where we believe in global arts for global kids. We're excited to welcome you back to our second series in which we explore shadow theatre together. Yesterday we learned how to make scenery and today in this video we're going to show you how to make a simple shadow stage to perform your shadow play. There are many different ways of making shadow stage. For example, you can use just a cereal box and you open one side and you cut the middle out on this side and you place a piece of white paper as a shadow screen and then put it in front of the light here you go, here is your shadow stage. There's another fun and easy way to create a bigger shadow stage. I think you are gonna love it. Find two chairs with bags like this. Place them back to back with some space in between. Get a white sheet or a white tablecloth. Place them on one side of the chairs and cover the top. You can place something heavy like books on the sheet to make sure it stay in place or you can use clips to clip it to the chair. That's it. Now it's time to rehearse your shadow theater. Take your shadow puppet and experiment with how it moves. Put one rod on the puppet's head and then practice moving it. Put the other rod on the puppet's body or in this case on its tail and manipulate that rod. As you can see I'm just twisting it. <laughs> now decide on how your puppet is going to move. Practice that and remember don't move your puppet too fast. A play must be a sequence of events and every character makes an entrance and does an action and finally exit. Think of the different ways your shadow puppet can enter. How about this? Or this. And sometimes it's fun that if you just show part of the puppet. <laughs> what kind of action your puppet will do after he get on the stage? Think about how your puppet is going to get off the stage and try to do a movement that is a little bit different than the entrance. Meow. Meow. Now put three things together and do it again, but this time with some emotions. Let's play different ways of bringing the scenery. You can simply just turn on the light and it's there. Or you can zoom in like this. Or maybe you can do it from the top like this. So try different ways, have fun with it. Now it's time to put everything together to perform your story. Make sure you have your puppets, 
scenery and props in order. The light is in the right position. Remember the sequence of your story <laughs> and make sure the audience is ready in place on the other side of your screen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please keep exploring different ways of making shadow and show them to your friends and family. Check out our activity sheet for more fun with shadows. Sai Qian!